There isn't a Flansburg style. There's certain values that we have. There's architectural values that I think we bring to every project, but I think every project is shaped largely by our clients. Our work focuses almost entirely on arts, cultural, and educational projects for large public schools here in Massachusetts, international schools around the globe, and independent schools around the nation. We will arrive at the school or our client with no preconceived notion whatsoever about what the plan will be. Our design process really is centered around these interactive collaborative workshops with the client. Being able to get all of the stakeholders in the room and talk about the needs of the facility, the aesthetics and the function really helps to find a solution. Every school we work with is completely different and so what we really seek is to develop a building that has an identity that is representative of the school that inhabits it. A lot of the projects start with actually using program blocks, wooden blocks that you know, sort of arrange the program together, but then we take those arrangements and put them into vector works as spaces, space objects, and then we can sort of begin massing the model around that to start developing the architecture. As the design process moves forward, I can add details, I can add information, I can articulate that model as much as I want without changing software and being confident that I can produce that kind of documents that that phase needs. Schoolwork has a cross-section of all different types of work. We have classroom buildings, athletic facilities, dormitories, theaters, performing arts that all interact together on a campus. Building information modeling is coordinating all of those pieces with the various consultants. As you make a change in the design, it's changing throughout your entire working drawing set. So it allows you to quickly make changes that are represented everywhere. In the last five, six years, we've been working more towards the big BIM of working with uh, engineers and bringing our consultants together into an integrated model where we're able to take their Revit structural model or the Revit MEP models and, and integrate those into Vectorworks. Working with a BIM software, it's a box where people can put as much information that they want that you can share with your consultants and everything is live. I think that it's very important to have a, a tool that helps you and supports you to make it simple and quicker and efficient and effective. The power of technology leverages talent. So what's happened is that our office is set up on the model where we have fewer more senior people, but in the end that's far more productive because of what the technology allows them to do. The power of Vectorworks for me really comes not from any particular feature, it's the range of capabilities. So for us as an authoring tool, it becomes the hub of everything we do. It's sometimes hard to translate plans into a final vision. With WIS software, we can do way more than we've ever been able to do.